Okay. Um, this is a, a research proposal that I'm planning to do for the next year. Um, it will be the analysis of a Thai telephone sound or not yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Polasit Tinakor Nayutaya. Right now, I'm a member of faculty uh, music engineering and multimedia program at the uh, faculty of engineering, King Mukut Indigenous Technology, Lagabang. Okay. The abstract. Um, actually, the problem is come from the law in Thailand and, and in many, many countries that uh, we perhaps we have to cut down any tree to make a musical instrument. So we need to synthesize a new material for making the musical instrument. So, and it will be a, a controversy for the musician to decide that uh, this instrument is so good, that instrument is no, it's kind of like that. So uh, this method that I'm going to use, it's going to be like a benchmark for define the quality of the musical instrument. Uh, in terms of uh, can be used, the, can, can use the, the data to compare for if you, if you come with the, the new synthesis material mm -hmm. and you make the instrument yeah, and you, this uh, test with the same method. You can compare the results, whether it's the same or whether it's different, and you can define how different this is. So, but uh, for the next year, I'm uh, just uh, focusing on the Ranat egg that used in the fine art department, Thailand. The reason that I choose just only for the fine art department of Thailand is that uh, the fine art department is a government organization that that collect uh, the Thai musical instrument and uh, try to make a benchmark standard for Thailand. So it be the good uh, good place to to begin this project. Yeah. The old way method is uh, if you, as you know, we use the microphone to measure the character of the sound. And if you do the, the old method, it will be uh, very difficult to conduct the, the measurement method because uh, you got to choose the microphone with the uh, frequency response and uh, characteristic of the microphone is good or not how precise the microphone can be used and uh, how far from the musical instrument that you place the microphone it will going to be the conduct in the same position so then you record the sound and use the spectrum analyzer just like you see in the last section that is the OA and put the club and uh, just uh, define the similarity of the data set. But for today, this this graph it show the the way that we used to do. Yeah, use a microphone recording the got the sound wave, then come sound wave to compare in the uh, spectrum analyzer. This is the, the, the old way that we got the data, the, the auto-tone harmonic CV that called the timber of the sound. But for my research, I am choose the new research method. Um, with it, going to use a high-speed camera to, to measure the salvation level. In this way, is, uh, the precision is better than use a microphone. And we can uh, collecting data without uh, having to have a studio recording studio or uh, a spatial facility to conduct the research. We can do any place. Yeah, but uh, the the thing that we collect is uh, different from the old way because uh, at in the past we uh, collect the uh, 
a sound bite and analyze it. But for using the high speed camera, we uh, collect the reflection of the sound. For, for example, like a sound pressure level that reflect to the, the light, and we can uh, see how uh, instrument vibrate and how instrument uh, project the sound, where they project it from, and where the sounds begin. So it's a new technology that uh, has a more understanding how each musical instrument work and collecting the number of samples then analyze. I plan like uh, collecting, uh, for example, have uh, the same, like you play uh, do in, on each ranat, like do re fa do, it's like a 50 set also. Then five, the, uh, then have the data it's analyzed and it put it in the number that show uh, if harmonic series, then collect that number to, in the synthesis method, you can use that number to remake the Rana sound with any synthesizer. Too, which is this data that we got from the research can be men used in many kind of method. So I think this will be a, a big move for Thai classical music. And as you know, uh, the Thai Ranat has a two kind of different of knowledge. So in my study, and I use both kind of knowledge and do the same thing. And to compare whether uh, the similarity or the difference between uh, uh, soft knowledge and hard knowledge in the uh, harmonic theory. Uh, we don't focus on how beautiful the sound is, but we focus on the fact that uh, camera can collect. Uh, this is uh, the camera that I will use. It can go up to uh, 21,000. That means, yes, 20 k hertz is enough. That's yes, 2 million watt camera. <laughs> 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 yes, you, you can see every vibration. <laughs> For example, this is like the, the movie clip uh, that show. Uh, oh, let's do it this way. Let me show the movie clip about uh, how the camera works. Uh, this is an example uh, that used high speed camera with the guitar string. Hmm? You can see like a sound wave on the string. But this uh, is not the same model that I use. This is a, a lower quality. And okay, this is the clip that show a uh, high-speed camera. They capture only uh, one sound pressure level from the template bell. Yes, this is what happened in the air. It only uh, one waveform that camera can catch. So
So by this method, you can see exactly and exactly the the sounds come from. And that is other tool that I want to show is that can uh, show you where the sound begin and. clip uh, this video let, let me explain to you uh, this application and this uh, instrument to they have the video and uh, multi array microphone at the same time so they can analyze where the sound happen how loud it is what frequency that happen and from this you can let imagine that you put on uh, any uh, musical instrument and with musician that play you can correct them or see that what happened with the instrument or what happened with the uh, the mu musical mu musician so it's just a new tool that at actually to design for uh, the uh, noise control tool for the industrial, but I'm used to apply for the music. For for this tool, we we can analyze how the uh, acoustically musical instrument work with the eye, not with the ear. <laughs> okay. Then finally, we can uh, plot and analyze uh, the sound wave again with the number that I collect from the uh, camera. Then we can use that number to reproduce the sound or to compare for the instrument that made from the synthesis material or a new kind of wood. It can also be applied to any kind of musical instrument. Okay, that's all for me. Any question? It is amazing that you analyze the sound without hearing a sound at all. Now we use image instead. Yes. Almost like a radio telescope. Mm -hmm. You see galaxy far away without without seeing. It's not collecting other information. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you sit in the previous section, it will be very difficult to uh, read the spectrogram or read the spectrum analyzer, but this is very clear to understand how the musical instrument it work. Mm. I, I, can I just ask a question about this? Very interesting, the, the technology. Is just what okay. Okay. Oh, badly. Um, it's very interesting. the The technology is is extremely interesting. But the um, um, the question I'd like to ask goes back to the original problem that you that you stated, which is the fact that um, that wood now is difficult to obtain. It's mm -hmm. difficult to get the the traditional types of wood. I don't know my sack, my. It's 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 not. Um, it's not something that is um, easy <laughs> to obtain, <laughs> but um, for that, is it possible to still get wood from other sources? Uh, like, uh, for example, uh, outside of Thailand, you can still import that, wood. That that will be widely a uh, problem for any any country. Yeah. Yes, about the uh, cutting the new. Tree uh, mm -hmm. cut down the forest, but they can replant. The in Malaysia, for example, the the teak wood, my mm -hmm. 
is being planted. There's new plantations of teak wood, so mm -hmm. they have new sources, new supplies for this type of wood. For the ranat, is it um, what kind of wood is is used? Uh, rose wood, rose wood and okay. bamboo. Bamboo, okay, yeah. yeah. So this bamboo is very easy to plant. Yes. Very. So, uh, I think that the two questions here are sort of separate because what do the musicians see as the as the best alternative to look for sources of the same wood mm -hmm. or to look for new types of ma synthetic materials mm -hmm. will they be happy with the synthetic materials yes so if, do if they don't know they will be happy <laughs> if they don't know <laughs> <laughs> they have to play yeah um, I have talked to the marimba maker, uh, the the big company that mm. they make the the marimba. They said that they use the, the fiberglass bed to synthesize uh, the the marimba. Mm, yes, but uh, the sound quality is still uh, not present for the musicians. Mm. Um, excuse me. I, I think the the way to develop this uh, something like this is very good but I think on, on the other way maybe we should consider like um, I don't know sustainable development like okay we build some more tree mm -hmm. yeah because like uh, I, I think I think we're gonna face the problem that um, some sometimes the syn synthetic material cannot be compared to the, the real wood Something like because like uh, the resonance or something like that. Yeah. But uh, from my point of view, uh, I think uh, the synthesis material is uh, the best solution for uh, replace the wood. The reason that I told you that because uh, if you plant the new wood, it like take like a uh, fifty year or also I mean uh, one generation of people. To waiting for the tree. We will not eat. We will not eat. Yeah. Well, we we can change the country, you know. And then things in Myanmar, in Cambodia. Yeah. We just shop them. I all I also heard from the friend who come from Japan very couple weeks ago that the 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 Japanese that teach you the new law about the. No exporting any roast wood. Okay. Mm. Roast wood? Mm. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a preserve. Um, uh, so people legalize uh, a certain type of uh, wood for you know, the preservation, but uh, this effect very much to uh, instrument maker and music market. Mm -hmm. And uh, people who own this, they we have to declare or we have yeah. to get permission, mm -hmm. and it's uh, made uh, a lot of trouble for um, the music factory in the yeah. whole country. Mm -hmm. One other uh, thing that I pl I plan in my mind to do after this uh, research finished that uh, it's been long time for a Thai musician to believe that the uh, musical instrument that make from ivory mm -hmm. is the best. If we can synthesize the new material that has the same pop acoustic property as the ivory, that would be good. Yeah, maybe same color, same weight, <laughs> but <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this presentation.